and let us understand two performance terms generally used when describing the engine performance or a tractor performance. Those are torque and horsepower. So let us understand these terms and let us understand the comparison of these two, two terms also. Let us start with the torque. The torque is the rotating force or the force which is trying to rotate is called as a torque or it's a twisting force. If the twisting force is able to rotate means the work is done. So it's a twisting force. So this is also called as the ability of doing the work. So torque is the ability of doing the work. The unit for the torques are kilogram meter or newton meter. Force into distance, that is work. Here the force indicates kg and meter indicates distance. This is torque. Next is the horsepower. The power is the speed of doing work. The rate of doing work is the power. So work done, divided by time is the power. And horsepower is the unit of the power. Horsepower is the unit of the power. So let us understand some background about this word HP. James Watt was the person who uh, created his steam engine. So once he created his steam engine, he wanted to show the performance or power of his steam engine to the people. So, so that he made one setup like the winch arrangement, weight, winch and horse. He was demonstrating his ability of his steam engine with, with compared to horse. So in his exercise, uh, he found that one horse can able to pull 330 pounds into 100 feet in one minute. So that will come around uh, 33,000 pounds feet of work per minute. So this is one horsepower. Right? So 33 pounds a distance of 100 feet in one minute. So this is one horsepower. We uh, selected horsepower to compare this uh, engine's power, steam engine's power mean. Those days, horses are known for pulling the loads or carts. So he compared his engine with horse so that people can able to relate the engine's power, his steam engine's power. That is how he uh, selected horse to do this exercise. So in that way, 33 pound per minute, that is one horse power. In other words, 540 pound per second. 550 pounds per second, that is one horsepower. So it's a unit of power. Horsepower is a unit of power. What's the formula for power? It's engine power. When we are talking about the engine power, we are getting the engine power at the flywheel. We are getting a torque and we are applying this constant in the along with the RPM. We are getting the horsepower. 2 pi NP divided by 4500. Here, uh, these three are constants and n and torques are variable. n is the RPM of the crankshaft, p is the torque available in the crankshaft, flywheel. The unit is kg meter. So, if we apply speed and torque in this formula, you can derive pass power. So, when people are uh, measuring the engine's performance, so actually they are measuring the torque and the RPM available at the flywheel. HP is the calculated value. Right? So more the horsepower means more will be the rate of doing work. But remember you need a torque to do the work. That is ability of doing the work. And different HPs are generally used. So one HP is the British HP. Generally used HP is British HP. So in this HP 1 HP is equal to 745.69 watts. So 1 horsepower is 745.69 watts. 
there is one more edge piece used in uh, the countries like India. In India, we are following metric edge piece. In other countries, it's called as uh, even India, it's called as PS PS edge piece or CB PK. And different uh, terms are used to describe this metric edge piece. As per the metric standard, one edge piece is equal to 735 watts. Right. So the PS the word, the letter PS, it stands for, this is the full form of this PS, this is the German term, which means force torque. PS is, which, which is the English translation, force torque, it's a pronunciation. That is a German term. So that is metric HP. In India, generally, whenever we are using that term, HP means, that is PS HP. So this PS HP, 1 PS is equal to 785 watts. Or uh, 1 PSHP is equal to 0.98 British HP. This is the comparison. If anybody telling uh, their engine HP in PS, the value will be higher. The numbers looks higher. For example, if I am telling 100 PS means in British HP it will come 98 HP only. Okay, so metric is the unique metric HP is the uh, as per which we are using in our country. So these are the two comparisons, especially in a tractor industry, people will use another term called SAEHP also, SAEHP. So SAEHP is the uh, testing procedure where the engine will be tested by providing the power to the accessories by the external drives like FIP other system, fuel system and other systems. It is getting a drive from, not from the engine, the external sources. So, once you are measuring the power, it will more of a theoretical value. So, this is the test lab procedure. But once you, you need to use this engine in the vehicle or tractor main, you need to get the drive from the engine cranks up only. So, that means, SAHP generally, if the people are describing SAHP means, that is more of theoretical value. Let us say, I am measuring one engine horsepower in SAE standard, whereas engine horsepower is coming as 40. If I am taking the same engine and measuring as per the metric standard mean, it may produce, it may give only 35 only. So that which is actual power which is available in the flywheel after giving a drive to all these extra accessories. Right? So, SAHP is more of theoretical value, metric HP, which we, metric standard HP, which we are generally in NESCARS we are using. So that is practical HP you are getting in the engine flywheel. So let us understand the relations between this power and torque. We discussed uh, some point like torque is the rate ability to do the work and power is the rate of doing work, right? So let us take two vehicles and one side is a car, another side is a escort tractor which is 25 HP, car, this is the speed for example we have taken, this is 83 HP. Let us do one exercise by using these two. In case I need to pull one trailer which is having a load of 10 tons. So both the vehicles need to pull it. Tractor easily you can attach. In car, attaching will be uh, difficult. Let us say we are doing some fabrication. We are attaching the trailer to this 83 HP car. Same weight, similar trailer, same weight in the tractor also, 25 HP. So we need to pull this load by using these two vehicles. One trailer with car, another trailer with the car. We need to pull it. So if we are starting this both the vehicles, what will happen? Here, the tractor can, the possible answer will be, the tractor can able to pull the load comfortably, whereas the car will struggle or it may not take the load, 10 ton of load. What is the reason? This is 83 HP and that is 25 HP. 83 HP 
vehicle, the car, cannot be able to pull the load means it's lagging something. That is what, that is the torque. That means the torque available at the car's wheel and torque available at the tractor's wheels. That is huge difference. Of course, in tractor you will get much higher torque at the rear wheels and in a car driving wheels you get much lesser torque. So, the ability of doing work, the torque at the wheels much higher in the tractor, even though horsepower is lesser, torque available at the wheel is much higher, in this case torque available at the wheel is lesser. So, torque is an important parameter which is required to do the work. At the same time, we cannot conclude that uh, horsepower is not required. If I am taking two tractors which are different horsepower, 25 HP tractor and 50 HP tractor. The 50 HP tractor can finish the work faster. So more the HP is helping in getting faster the work. So rate of doing work will be more in higher HP tractors. So that is the thing. So higher HP tractor always also it will have higher torque also. So torque and power are directly proportionate, but these two are different case. The torque is the force, the power is the unit of work done. So without force, you cannot have power. So both are required. Let us say, let us take two animals to compare. Let us say in car, two animals natures are there. One is horse, another is elephant. Elephant, we can compare with the torque. Horse you can compare with the speed. In car, this horse nature is more, the speed of doing work is more. You can reach the destination very really faster. But the elephant nature is less. Whereas in a tractor, the elephant nature is more, that means torque ability is more. Comparatively, the rate of doing work or speed is not a priority. The ability of doing work is a priority. That is why torque. Emphasis on top is more than the time. So, this is about the comparison of the power and power that are available in the factors of power. If you have any queries, you can post your comments. We will try to answer. Thank you very much.